Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. So I know in the last two videos that I put up, I mentioned things going a bit quiet. Now what I didn't mention was, I actually was trying, I actually had a bid in on eBay for the Mission Impossible Steelbook collection. That's the Zavi exclusive now, so so that means the Fallout edition. Uh, Fallout, sorry, is not uh, part of this uh, collection. It only goes up to the first five. Uh, yeah, so I was keeping an eye on, the sh on eBay. Uh, I've been waiting for a long time to try and get the steelbook collection and I was waiting for someone to put the whole lot on together instead of selling them individually So I actually won the auction got them for quite cheap and uh, I just couldn't wait. I had to do a video out uh, For this collection now the thing is I I do own these movies on um, On 4k already uh, so I can Kind of do a, give you a heads up about the transfers anyway uh, Which that's I'm not gonna lie they're all nearly perfect. They're absolutely fantastic. Massive upgrades over the Blu-rays. But um, yeah, it's a very nice collection. They go very, very well together. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. So here we go. This is the first one. And we have got Mission, Mission Impossible. Uh, now, Mission Impossible... Uh, this would be probably my it'd be up there on my least favourite Mission Impossible movie. Still incredible though. Absolutely amazing movie. But... What you do get with this is, out of all five of these films, this is definitely the most obvious upgrade uh, when it comes to the 4K transfer. Um, the Blu-ray was very poor. It was a very, very poor. It was very washed out. It just didn't look great. This is absolutely amazing. Now, there is just, word of warning, there is scenes in this that the grain does get a bit heavy uh, at times. Just some, Not all the time, just certain scenes that are, are a bit grain heavy. But uh, for the most part, it is absolutely beautiful. The whites are spectacular. Uh, black levels, incredible. Just all around, masterfully done. And uh, if you're a big fan of the first Mission Impossible movie, you're going to love this. Absolutely solid upgrade. Amazing. Well done, Paramount. Amazing. Right, so up we go to Mission Impossible 2. This now, believe it or not, folks, is my favourite Mission Impossible movie. And I know a lot of people out there are not a big fan of it. But you have to understand, with me, I am a huge John Woo fan. I love every film that he's done. Uh, I just think he's a masterful director. Um, and his action sequences in all his movies are amazing. And Tom Cruise in this... The, all the stunts that Tom Cruise does in the Mission, the Mission Impossible movies, this is by far my favourite. The amount of stuff that Tom Cruise does in this film... For, uh, on the st stunt wise is absolutely extraordinary and uh, I just can't get enough of it I just love this movie so much um, the transfer is it's incredible it really is incredible um, not as obvious as the first part but oh my god it's this one's a lot cleaner this one uh, not much grain in this film uh, so use grain here as well absolutely love this um, there is no Atmos soundtrack on it, but my god, the 5.1 True Dolby that you do get with it is absolutely extraordinary. Uh, you're going to have no complaints whatsoever, and this is a solid, solid entry. So that is Mission Impossible 2. Right, so up next we have J.J. Abrams, uh, Mission Impossible 3. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough call between this one and the first one when it comes to what's what's my worst Mission Impossible movie. But like I said, still such a fun, fun movie. Um, the transfer is... Out of the five of them, this is the one that's probably not the least obvious over the Blu-ray. Don't get me wrong, it is, the, it is an upgrade over the Blu-ray. But it's just not as obvious as the other four. Um, but still very solid. The HDR... Uh, implementation is beautiful on it and if you're lucky and you have a Dolby Vision uh, TV which I actually do have a, an OLED an LG OLED TV uh, the Dolby Vision is beautiful as well um, I it's a, it's an all round just it's 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 just it's I don't want to put it down it's just I don't know what it is when you watch when you watch the collection and you kind of just think back over the transfers you will start saying to yourself you know what the third one was probably the, my my least favorite when it came to the transfers themselves uh, this again uh, no Dolby Atmos with this one uh, this is just a true uh, true Dolby 5.1 uh, but again just like Mission Impossible 2 uh, it does the job it's absolutely fantastic so uh, yeah that's Mission Impossible 3 so, up next we have Gosh, uh, Ghost Protocol. So this is the fourth Mission Impossible movie. Um, this one, now, um, 
the problem with this, what annoyed me a bit, on if you actually look at the discs on it, um, it actually says on the 4K disc that this actually has a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. It absolutely doesn't. It's a 7.1 uh, true Dolby, but it's not Atmos. But it does. It on the disc it does say that. Um, the IMAX scenes are <laughs> they're just insane in this movie. But what happened? What what's different with the IMAX scenes in this movie compared to the likes of Christopher Nolan's movie? They don't go into full screen. Uh, as far as I remember, folks, I think I'm nearly sure that it doesn't go into full screen, which is fine because it still looks absolutely insane. Um, yeah, so the 4K transfer, spot on, absolutely beautiful, ultra sharp. Uh, the HDR Dolby Vision, all just spot on, beautiful, very rich, very vibrant, and if again, big fan of Ghost Protocol, this is by far the best it's ever looked. And uh, it's definitely worth the purchase. So that is Ghost Protocol. And that leads us then to, finally, Rogue Nation. Um, this is the one, out of all the four, uh, Mission Impossible movies, this is the one that I, I least kind of remember. Uh, I do remember it being incredible. I know there's a fantastic underwater sequence in this, uh, where apparently Tom Cruise supposedly held his breath for five minutes. Uh, how he did that, I do not know. But... Um, Again, the transfer, beautiful, spot on, IMAX scenes, gorgeous. Um, the it, This one does now have Dolby Atmos. We do get a Dolby Atmos soundtrack with this one. And it's it's just, yeah, it's it, it'll it blow the house over. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, again, folks, if you're just a fan of this Dimension Impossible movies, you have to pick up these 4K transfers. They are... It's, it's just an all-around fantastic set. So that is, yeah, that is my Mission Impossible collection. Uh, I'm going to put the whole lot of them together because, as you can see, they actually do go quite beautifully together as well, as you can see. Uh, they look lovely on my shelf. They do. And uh, it's a shame I couldn't, that Zavi didn't bring out uh, a Fallout edition uh, because I would have loved to have got that and put it with it, you know. But I will pick up uh, Fallout someday on Steel. I have Again, I have the 4K edition of it. Uh, I'd like to get a Steelbook of it uh, just to kind of put it with these. And uh, someday I will pick one up. So um, that is it, folks. So um, I, a few people have been asking me now uh, about uh, my movie room and doing a video on it. And uh, I was talking to John last night over at Mondo Chalavik Movies. Uh, we actually had a... We were talking to each other for nearly two hours last night, and I, I, I tell you, it was, it was a blast. It was great catching up with him. But I was explaining to him that um, I am trying to do a movie room. I'm trying to do a movie room video. It's it's tough in here. It's tough because I have, I have shelving all against the wall in front of me here, but I also have shelves coming out out from them as well, and it kind of just makes the corners where a lot of me stuff in the corners is it's very dark. And I just need, I need just to, to, to wait till my, my fiance um, has a bit of time and she can come in and try and lightish, uh, maybe hold a light while I'm doing them corner scenes because it's very dark and uh, I want to do this movie room properly uh, because I did one movie, I think it was the first video I ever done on YouTube and uh, uh, I rushed through it. I, it was a seven minute video. Uh, I, I did, I just breezed through it. I was kind of nervous and I just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. So I... Um, I didn't do my room justice, I don't think, and um, I am very proud of this collection, and I really do want to show everyone what's what exactly is, is in this room because uh, some of the items I have in here is just it's they're definitely worth checking out. So uh, that's that's upcoming. Um, look forward to doing if I can get it. Hopefully in the next week or two I will get it out. So that's it, folks. That is everything. So. As per usual, if you did like this video, uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, please do leave a comment. And uh, please subs uh, subscribe and I hope to see you all real soon with my next video. So take care folks out there, stay safe, bye bye.